Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, this is Super Ivy, the hashtag hero, and you're tuned into an episode of Hero Tech How To's and App Reviews. Today we will be delving into the beautiful note taking and mind mapping app, Mindly. Not all note-taking apps are created equal. If you're somebody who thrives in organized situations, uh, note-taking apps will be your best friend. Right now, I'm working mostly with Evernote, Mindly, and Inkflow. And I'm telling you this because the three are very different and they all sort of cover the ways in which our brains work and how we learn. Mindly focuses on mind mapping. The way that we usually learn in school is called linear note-taking where it's mostly list focused, word focused, whereas mind mapping is more creative, it's more focused on images and colors. The other app that I mentioned, Inkflow, is really on the creative side where you draw everything. There pretty much are no words in Inkflow. <laughs> Which for me, at first, I thought it was gonna be awesome and now I'm realizing like, whoa, I kinda need my regular words and a little structure. I need some structure here or I'm gonna lose it. And that's why I find Mindly really, really useful to be right in the middle of the spectrum between really, really right brain creative and really, really left brain analytical and logical. So let's get into it. Welcome to my iPhone 5. All right guys, so you can see on my second level there, I have my four note-taking apps that I'm currently using. There's the notes that originally comes with iPhone, Evernote, Mindly, and Inkflow. So let's go right into Mindly. So when you go into Mindly, this is what it looks like. These are my current notes. I'm currently using the free version, and with the free version, you can only have up to three notes. Um, for the full version, it's going to cost you about $6.99 and you have unlimited amount of elements and a bunch of other great options there. But I've been surviving just fine with the free version and I really like it a lot. So let me tell you guys all about what I've been up to with it. So being the nerd that I am, I created a Mindly to explain Mindly. So this is how you go into one of your notes. So this is my mind map for Mindly. The main idea here is Mindly and to better explain what the app is about, I have a few of the um, features that come along with it and what you're able to do with it. So with Mindly, we can orbit like this, and you can change the orientation of your notes. You can also expand on your notes. So let me show you how to create one of these in the first place. Between each of the atoms, you'll see a little plus sign. All you have to do is click that guy, and you can make a new one. So here we go, let's make a new, this is your title, and this little icon to the bottom right. If you click it, you can then add more notes. So let's add more notes. And then here, we're able to change the color and add emojis or icons. So let's add one in there, why not? Because there are so many now, it's expanded to where we can see them in this sort of a view instead of the full-on view, which is pretty cool. So this was our new note, and to see the extra notes that we have within this, we just double click that and it'll show us the extra notes that we wrote in. And within each of these, you can add other notes by just clicking the plus and going through the same process we just did. Let me show you guys how to put in an image or a link. I'll show you how I did this one. So you go up here, you can choose take photo, select image, or add a web link. So let's say let's select an image. Go to whatever image you want to select and it will create it and put it right up here in the top right hand corner. Once it's in the top right hand corner, you can easily drag and drop him into any spot you want. And it will prompt you with copy here. And voila, you have him there. And you can also do something else that's cool. You can put him within other orbitals. So let's go ahead and move him in there. And now if you go to change colors, you can find him here as well. And if you don't want him here, you can easily move him out or delete him altogether by bringing it down to the bottom right hand corner and pressing delete. Within each theme, you can also add a link. So let me show you what it looks like to add a web link. Let's go on over to the hashtag hero.com. There's our link. I'm just gonna grab that and copy. So if we want to change colors, just go to any of the orbits, go to color, and what you can do here that's pretty cool 
you can define a child theme. So the children, I guess, are the spin-offs of the main ideas. So you can change your child theme. You can do varying, same color. I'm gonna choose varying. So it gives you some options there what it would look like if you chose varying for each one. I like this one. Now, whenever I make a new one here, it will be within that defined child theme. Once you're done with your mind map and it's like everything you've ever wanted, you can go here. You can either bring it back to your home, print and share from here. And this is the best part. Like you can see your mind map. So when you click mind map, you can then see all of the aspects that make up your mind map. And when you go to share, you can even share it as a PDF, which is really nifty. So that is Mindly. It's a really simple way to take notes using colors and also images and links, which can be really helpful depending on the type of projects you have. I would suggest like teachers or project managers would find this really, really, really useful. If you're doing things with textiles, it might help to be able to put the photos in there. It's also great for sharing with your team or students with the PDF function. So I think it's a really cool app. I like it, it's really simple. It runs like a dream. The interface is just gorgeous. The free version happens to work very, very well for me. If any of you guys end up downloading it, let me know how it goes. Um, if you upgrade to the full version, also let me know how that goes, if it's worth it, if it's not worth it, let me know. I'm always down to buy apps if they're totally worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for the next video, please share them in the comments or tweet me at the hashtag hero. Thank you guys so much for watching and this has been Super Harvey the hashtag hero on an episode of Hero Tech, how to's and app reviews with Mindly. Hero out.